been named and Mark Bynes. And joining me here, Director of Athletics, Tom Kleinlein. And we kind of were joking at the beginning of the day, Tom, about all the exciting news that seems to be coming out of Georgia Southern. But yet again, in no particular order, another big announcement today. Absolutely. It's been an exciting week, so to speak, starting with last week with our announcement, move up in the conference, and then today naming my, uh, Mark as our head coach has been great. I know you talked about to the press about, about the process, and again, some people may look at it and say it was a very quick process. I imagine you and the committee, committee would probably say there was a lot of work being done for a number of days, but as far as the timeline is concerned, you happy with the way the process went? Very happy, though. You know, we sat down, we put together a pool of about 12 to 14 people, and we began to do a number of, of phone calls and research on those 12 to 14 people. And what I told the committee was, is, is we began to research these guys, the key criteria. I want to find a good teacher. I want to find somebody that's going to be the CEO of our program. I want to find somebody that's going to come in and relate to these players, and somebody that knew the Southern Conference, because I felt like it was important to start off on a good foot next year before we entered into the Sunbelt Conference. And as we researched those 12 to 14 candidates, Mark's name just kept reappearing, reappearing, reappearing. Uh, we had probably three or four candidates that kind of rose to the top along with Mark. And that's when we incorporated Michael Curry into the process and began to have him call. And, and he did some background work for us. And clearly Mark, as I say, won the job. One of the things you told the media also today, which I think is very interesting, is a lot of times you find yourself, and you've been in coaching searches before, that you're trying to sell the program, show all the great things, and maybe keep everything hid. You said you kind of beat to the punch on this one. You basically said, this is what we are, and if you're interested in this, you could be the man for the job. Yeah, I've had success doing that before in coaches' searches. I felt like it was important that they knew all the, the good, the bad, and the ugly about our program, and that when they sat at the table in front of the committee, that they knew what this job was about, and they were going to embrace the challenges and be willing to accept the challenges. And again, that was another important criteria when Mark sat at the table he didn't flinch from one issue not one issue and everybody has issues it's not all perfect at every place and here at Georgia Southern we've got a lot of good things but we've got some things we can need to improve on but Mark didn't flinch from any of those things. I think another thing that really stuck out to me in the press conference and having a chance to talk with coach Byington before the announcement was he and you both used the word brand a lot obviously there's a lot about X's and O's and coaching and wins and losses but he also seems to be in, in sync with you as far as the basketball brand and how important that is, not just to the athletic department, but to the university. Absolutely. We continually talk within our department with all our sports. We can talk about we serve the mission of the university, and our job as the athletic department is to brand the university in a positive way and grow our brand. Obviously, with the Sun Belt expansion, that now puts us into new territory. Success on our basketball court and opportunities in postseason play are only going to enhance our brand, are only going to keep our brand at the forefront of what's going on in athletics throughout the year. We're at the, we're at the uh, beginning of the year, our, our football brand carries us. At the end of the year, our baseball brand carries us. Our Olympic sport brand is sprinkled in throughout the year with our volleyball teams and our soccer teams and softball teams. But we need to be relevant in basketball. We need to have an important part of what's going on in the basketball world, and that's why we got to have success in our basketball program. Uh, certainly appears Eagle Nation extremely excited. Those here in the press conference, I think, impressed by Coach Byington, and I dare say impressed by you and the, and the committee on the job well done. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it, Chris. Thomas Kleinlein, he's the director of athletics, and fans, we got more to come, including a sit down with the new head men's basketball coach, Mark Byington. Stay with us here at gseagles.com. We've got that coming up.